Yo, yo, what's going on, guys? It is your host, Ali, or Cringe Ali, whatever floats your boat. And we are here today, actually, to play a little bit of FIFA and talk about the Iraqi protests. I know it's weird and it's completely off of topic from my channel. I know it's weird and completely off topic for my channel, but there's a lot of people that are misinformed about it, and I wanted Philip DeFranco, that guy, to do a video on it. So it's okay, I'm gonna do a video about it. We're gonna have FIFA gameplay in the background. I'm actually recording a gameplay right now. I'll have the facts and everything edited into parts of it. But just to give you guys a general idea of why Iraqis are protesting in Iraq right now and everywhere around the world next to your courts and stuff like that. But a lot of people are blaming other countries for it. Blaming, uh, blaming Iran, blaming Saudi, and it's like, they have nothing to do with it, G. I mean, they might have had something back then to do with anything that happened to the country, but now? No, it's just the government that we need to deal with. I didn't even want to make this topic, but a lot of people are not talking about it, and they're just kind of keeping it quiet, and I don't like that. I genuinely don't like that. I wanted Philip DeFranco to do a video on it because his team is amazing, and they know how to do these types of videos perfectly. Oh, that was fucking amazing. It was a perfect fucking slide tackle. Ah, I barely touched it. Let's go. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Too easy. Easy peasy. That was mine. No, 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 no. Not happening, buddy. Sorry. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go! Too easy! Get off me! So the article came out 35 minutes ago and it's from the Al it's from the Al Jazeera website right here and I'm reading I'm looking through it right now and it says Iraqi protesters all the la uh, all the latest updates it was recently published around 35 minutes ago so you know this is accurate and you know this is on time and this is what we're talking about recent Iraq has been rocked by days of protests as thousands of mostly young men have been demonstrating in different parts of the country against corruption unemployment and poor public service security forces have responded using water cannons tear gas live rounds and rubber bullets dozens of protesters have been killed and hundreds more wounded you gotta understand that they're not protesting iran they're not protesting saudi they're not protesting the united states they're protesting for a change in government and the reason why they're protesting for a change in government is because of the unemployment rate you have about 25 percent and right here it says 25 percent of the unemployment men and women in iraq are teens and younger adults also throughout the whole thing the prime minister of iraq and the cabinet issued a also the iraqi prime minister abdul mahdi and the cabinet issued a series of reforms after extraordinary session overnight in response to the sleeping to the sweeping anti-government rallies the cabinet issued a decreeing including more than a dozen planning reforms including land distribution military en enlistments and increasing welfare stipendants for needy families about 105 people died in the protest to the right group. It doesn't matter which group they're for when they're fighting for their freedom, when they're fighting for a job to be able to feed their family. A lot of people, I went to Iraq in the beginning of this year and a lot of people what I noticed over there is that they don't have a job to stabilize their living. They, their job fluctuates in income a lot of the time and there's no stable income to where you can get a certain paycheck every week, two weeks or every one week like here in the United States where you can compare, you can, you can literally not compare it to the United States way of putting in hours and getting your money's worth because you get a quarter of what your money's worth over there versus over here. This is what I find interesting though. There was gunmen attacking TV stations in Baghdad. Saudi owned uh, Al-Bar- 
Albaria, I think that's how you say the name of it. I'm not 100% sure. News channel said mass gunmen who arrived in the black cars wearing black clothes stormed the office of the television station, attacked some employees, and smashed employment before fleeing the scene. Interesting. What does the UN have to say about it? Well, the UN has to say that violence must be stopped, but how do you stop violence when you're not doing anything, when you're not taking action to change, to make a change? Iraq has been in this state since 2000, and three, after the falling of Saddam Hussein, Iraq has been corrupt and people have not been able to feed their families. So many of them died because they didn't have insurance or they didn't have some sort of coverage to where they can go to the doctor and have them checked out. The UN should not be saying violence must stop, but rather do something about it. You have all these countries that are able to do something about it and you're not doing anything about it, which is very, very disappointing from the UN. And our Iraqi politicians, they were supposed to hold a parliament scheduled for Saturday afternoon. It didn't take place because a number of those politicians did not show up. They're scared. They're afraid because the people want what's theirs. Wake up. I got my information from aljazeera.com and they are a very trusted channel that they go in and go in investigate go and look at things for example and make very trusted articles i'll leave the, the link in the description down below let me know what you think of this video i know it's a little bit different i know it's a change of heart but i felt like i had to speak i felt like i had to say something and the only way that i can show my view to the world is throughout you guys throughout youtube and i felt like i needed to say something because this is my home country so, Philip DeFranco, if you do end up seeing this video, please, please, please go in depth and do the Iraqi uh, protest and explain everything that's going on. I only got it from, I only got my sources, my information from one source that I trust. It's one of the sources that I trust. It's one of the only sources that I trust. And I wanted you because you have such a huge team. And I'm speaking to you because you have such a huge team and you have such a huge impact on people and millions and millions of people watch you. I want you to make a video about it and explain it more in depth. Thank you. If you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, drop a like down below, share it with your family and friends. And yeah, it's been Ali, guys. Deuces.